and cool up here. Urn right there. And I get my first Daedalus hammer. If you can make it all the way to the end without a Daedalus hammer, you can get some secret dialogue from Hades. The dialogue system in this game is nuts. Nice, I was able to hit all three of them with that. This shield's about to get a hole. Okay. Oh boy. Pearl pulverizing blow is very good here. Dreadflight would be great if I hadn't just purged my boon for the special. And Bull Rush is good too. Or charge shot, I mean. But this is fantastic, especially if I can get the Ares boon that makes it so the Doom effects stack. Then this is going to be fantastic. Uh, so yeah, boons over hearts for the most part. I might get a heart here just because I only have 131 max health. But whatever. I also personally like Pulverizing Blow because I find the knockback of the shield to be a detriment. I'm weird like that. I hate chasing enemies down. So I like it when my shield it doesn't knock people back. Ow! Keep getting hit. Ah, get away. Oh my god, that's not all of them. Oh, and I died. Taking a lot of hits here. I'm being very lazy, because... It's a Friday and I'm just tired. Hear me on my authority. And I also just kind of don't like the shield, so I almost have, I have half a mind to just get this over with, but. I'm gonna push through. More resources. There's uh, urn. There's some gemstones. Ooh, and there's an Ares mini boss room. The vast and multitudinous riches of both the surface and the underworld are ordered by the river boatman Charon, whose services are often tendered to the wealthiest within Elysium. He really gets around. I can only hope that this is that boon I was looking for, then we'll pop off a little bit more. Oh, hi. You have met the champion, the king. Let us see if you are fit to face him once again. You mean face both of you together, which doesn't seem particularly fair. Life isn't particularly fair, short one, nor death. I'd have expected you to know as much. But here, have your fair fight.
awaits. Until such time. I'm not entirely certain I will make it that far. Olympus, I accept this message. Come on. Yeah. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, it's probably better than the cursed special. Oh dang. Skelly power. <laughs> Now what? Bull rush charges up faster? Wow, they really want us to go in on the bull rush. We'll just do the Minotaur rush. It gives us a power shot. So kind of like with the uh, the bow. If you release it at the right time, it deals... What did it say? 50% or 500%? Because 500% is ridiculous. That's six times the damage. can't just sit back and let them hit you. Oh, well, maybe not. You can also, with my blade dash I got going on here, I can just kite them and the blades will hit them. Ooh. See? Keep falling into my blades. over the oval. Oh, jeez. That one's regenerating. Nope. What? Where's the other one? Oh, there he is. more oh my god there's three butterfly balls So 
I guess we'll do impending doom since we're all in on the doom effect. This restores health, but I might die trying to do it, so... Nectar it is. Trying to live. Try to get some more heals in. Oh, this is the last room before a boss. And there's some darkness. And the urn. Let's do it. Asterius. Theseus. So, the fiend returns to challenge us again, Asterius. Or rather, to besmirch the honor of this competition. Besmirch what honor? You're just complaining that you lost, even though I was outnumbered. Silence, you monster. I'll hear no more such wicked lies, half-truths, or quarter-truths. You, however, soon shall hear my blessed spear. Specifically, the sound it makes whilst sliding into your exposed midsection. Defend yourself! I love Theseus. Ooh, excuse me. Ow. Ooh, kind of tearing through. Oh yeah. oh yeah, also something I don't think I've mentioned before. If you find Asterius as your mini boss, I'm about to die. Yep, there it goes. If you find Asterius as your mini boss, and uh, when you get to the final boss in Elysium, Asterius will have reduced maximum health because he hasn't fully healed from your fight earlier. Oh, that bull hits rather hard. Okay, so let's talk to everybody again. The Minotaur, no way! No wonder you're back here. Everyone knows that he's unstoppable, especially me. Hey, next you run into him, could you get his autograph for me? No. There's actually a little mini quest about getting the Theseus and Asterius' autograph for Hypnos that I won't be delving into. Ooh. You'll get the hang of it out there, lad. For all our sparring practice. There's no teacher like the real thing. Now then, I have something for you. The reason I said ooh was because anytime there's the flashing exclamation point with the little zigzag bubble around it, that means some important story uh, dialogue is about to happen. If it's just the normal speech bubble, then it's just new dialogue, but nothing important. Anyway. What, wait, you're giving me your codex? I can't accept something like this. Please, I insist. I want your love of history to grow, not just your love of warfare. Besides, maybe you can finish out the rest of it. I'm grateful. Alright, so we got our codex. So if you hit L1, you've got the Chthonic Gods, and it gives you all sorts of information. And there's little hearts above them that represent how many nectar you've given somebody and the little bow means you get a gift in return Olympian gods others 
So that's like the story people, Achilles, the humans basically. Or ex-humans. Underworld areas, that's all your areas. Notice there were missing one. Your infernal arms. Oh yeah, we've never used the spear yet, haha. <laughs> the enemies, tons of those. Artifacts, that's all your pick, your resources. And then two undiscovereds that we'll get into later. All right, that's gonna become useful in just a moment. Not to spend some of these gems with the house contractor. I found her boy, my mother, Persephone. You remember her, don't you? She was pleased to hear about you, but I couldn't stay for long, and I have to find her again. So, guess I'll see you at the temple then. <laughs> The ghoulish features of the much-reviled Hound of Hell all soften instantly upon the mention of a certain name. Briefly, then, the monster is at peace. I know that Nyx has been abetting you. You wish to take advantage of her pity? I care not. Her powers have their limits anyway. How can you... Nyx is the knight itself. It can do as she pleases, isn't that correct, Father? You think I asked you to get involved in all this business? You, boy, have already dragged this entire household, not to mention my fool relatives, into this mess which you've created, which you dare call business. Pleasure doing business, then. Where's our court music? Child, your father fell to you as once his father fell to him, although you were substantially more merciful. I know it is a bitter victory at best. Though, tell me, what transpired subsequently that you have returned? Did you locate your birth mother? I did. I... she was there. She was where you said she'd be. And more than I imagined, but... I had so little time with her. I can't survive up there for very long. Why didn't you tell me I'd just die no matter what? Oh, my child. I say this seldomly, but I did not know, or I did not wish to believe, that the service would have such an effect on you. But it seems you share your father's fate, after all. My father's fate? But he was smugly waiting for me up there and seemed quite healthy all in all. Though, maybe the farther we get from this realm, the worse we get. Because he cast his lot, inheriting the underworld. So I now presume, you are bound to this realm by powers greater even than mine. Tell me something, if you knew that you could only see Persephone for but a moment's time, would you still make the journey to her there? Yes. Yes, I would. I had so many questions left for her. Then go and ask them, child. Steady your resolve and find her there again and use well what brief time you have with one another whilst you can as mortals do as mortals do all right the lounge is open haha <laughs> a commemorative board adorns one of the stoic walls within the lounging area celebrating and proclaiming the accomplishments of those who serve lord hades best of all won't ever see my face up on that wall i guess Oh, can't examine it? Okay. So, the lounge has some items, which I'll talk to, uh, mention in a second. Let's talk to these people first, though. Hey, uh, what's that you're drinking, Meg? Anything good? Whatever it is, it's weak. Enough to be mistaken for your blood. Nice. Well, I'll just leave you to it, then. Leave me alone. And now we get to meet, once the lounge opens up, what well, might be my favorite character. To talk to me? Me? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I uh, just wanted to say the lounge looks wonderful. As good as new. Better. I hope it's not been too much trouble patching up. I, 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 I have to clean the rafters. I... Thanks for all your hard work. I love Dusa. She's the maid. We got this Pretty gentleman much. over here, the chef. We'll talk about him later when he becomes relevant. 
And then there's also the wretched broker over here that can trade resources for others. It's always the same first five here, but then there's a sixth one that changes every run, every escape attempt. So we can trade in 25 darkness for three chthonic keys, which is actually pretty good. I might take him up on that. That's a good one. I don't usually use any of this stuff. I usually just wait until I get everything naturally. And then once I have completely run out of uses for anything, that's when I'll start using this. So like when I've unlocked everything that Chthonic Keys unlock, I'll just trade them all. For Nectar. And like gemstones trade into Chthonic Keys, etc, etc. I do have half a mind to do this one though, because Chthonic Keys are so important early. And I got so much darkness from that uh, prophecy. Hmm, I think I'm gonna do with three Chthonic Keys is very nice, and it will put me up to 16. I'm looking at the right hand side there, right in the middle. Chthonic Keys, I got 15. There's only two weapons left in the game, they're eight each. So this would put me up to 16, so I think I just sold myself. Give me the current special. And he's happy. Talk to these guys. What's the good one? I'll have you know my house was better, much better than this. Cause of death, murder. So we fulfill the prophecy. For you, three fates. So you don't get this one unlocked until you get the codex. And when you do, if you're not quite as far along as I am, then you won't have this completed. But it's for getting 70 entries. But since I've made it so far, I've been able to do it, and I get 40 gemstones. Achilles Codex. I'm getting somewhere with it. That's for escaping with all the harsh... the Pact of Punishment conditions at least once. And it's 15 Titan Blood, which is incredible. We might strive for that one. It speeds things up. Uh, before I check out the mirror, I almost forgot to trade in my gemstones with the house contractor. And in retrospect, I'm kind of glad I did, because I just got 40 extra. So I'd have to make an extra trip anyway. And there's our rod of fishing. Perfect. Yep. So, that's the next one to get. Contractor, I have another job. I positively cannot wait to see what sorts of foul creatures I'll dredge up with this. And then we need to save up for... Oh, haha. We need to save up for the deluxe contractor's desk. And then after that, we get the purified fountains, which we can already get. So let's do that. Let's make it happen. I'll have to keep an eye out for this next time out there. And then we're gonna get the holy fountains, which we can also afford. I grant you funding and autonomy to do this job upon your earliest convenience, contractor. You need not listen to him, contractor. And then we're gonna save up for a codex upgrade, which we cannot get until we unlock the. Deluxe Contractor's Desk. So we'll just wait. Now on to the mirror. <sighs> to get the last Death's Defiance. After that, let me scroll up on my guide here. We want to get Thick Skin if we've unlocked it, which we have not. And then after that, it's Chthonic Vitality. So let's max this out. That makes it so we get three health every time we enter a new chamber. Or exit chamber, as it says. After that, we get Shadow Presence maxed out, which makes it so our backstab damage is better. And then we're going to save up until we can unlock some things, and we're not going to unlock it yet, even though we could. See you you want to use all your keys towards the weapons before you do anything. I should go. This one, the twin fists of Malfon. Our strength combined surely cannot be stopped. Wanna fight? Ready, Malfon? Who would you look at that? This is exciting because this is my favorite weapon in the game. Don't suppose I can talk you into fighting back this time? Not a chance, boyo. I'm paid to take it, not to dish it out. Now give it to me. Okay. All right, whatever. And then, uh, if you happen to have eight Chthonic Keys after unlocking Malfon, the Twin Fists, 
Then I think... Oh, nope, never mind. You gotta do another escape attempt. And then this next weapon will be available. Uh, but anyway, next time we will discuss... I'm excited for the next episode. I will do a showcase of my favorite build in the game. Um, yeah, I don't really have much more to say, though, so until then, stay safe.